Hey, how's it going, everyone? Okay, so tonight I see a question posted that is a topic I was planning to cover anyway. So, uh, Jim Warrior is wondering about controlling each instance independently based on audio frequency spectrum. So, let's just start with his example and then let's modify it to control each square independently. So, as you can see here, he's got the audio. Um, running in as a chop and controlling scale this way um, which would which is going to be done by the CPU instead of the GPU so and it would only be con it would be controlling the master shape um, so they'll as you can see all be moving so what we want to do is actually create channels in this chop or ahead of this chop, merge it in so that we can map to the S, X, Y, and Z uh, scaling parameters of instances. So first off, let's um, let's see here. What do we got? For the sake of things, I will split off of here and let's put. Spectrum uh, cool. Then what I um I like to do is trim a bit out of it just on the lows and highs just for the sake of it. You can take this off if you want to get your full frequency spectrum. Whoa. Jeez, this mouse is kind of being weird. Sorry about that. Joys of doing this live. Um, high frequency boost just to level things out. You don't have to do that. Um, let's make some space here. Not sure what all that is. Let's unmap this. Okay. Cool. All right, so now we need to merge these values, maybe do some scaling on them, and map that into our um, scale parameter. Why did that name not change? That's odd. There we go. Kind of a bug fun. So I think maybe we should resample this to be the same length as our uh, chop that contains all the instance channels. So we would put this out of time slice mode and do... what are we... we would want new rate and new interval. So let's just get it to 60 hertz and Feed that into the start end reference. So now that's 85, 85, boom. Sweet, sweet. Um, get that out of the way for now. Actually, I'm just gonna, not gonna delete it because maybe you needed that for something else. All right, so we'll put in a merge here. There you have it. Some other things, it looks like you were pulling your normals off or pulling them into it. So we could also, I don't know if you intended to do this or not, but we can use them to get some rotation going, although it's kind of imperceptible with, with their start orientation. Let's say we maybe uh, still a little imperceptible. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> oh, you don't have any normals. 
That explains it. Ah, because it's coming off a circle. So maybe if we did this with, with a tube instead, you might get more of what you want. 16 by 5. Okay. And you have this oriented in Z. There you go. Isn't that fun? Just go like that and then put this back to Y. Works a little better. I think you had that at, what was it, 3, 3 5? Okay, so that's pretty much how you would do it. Uh, hopefully that was enough narration to make sense. Um, let me know if there's any questions, and uh, maybe I'll clean up this file and upload it too. All right, hope I can help. See you later.